Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is Yoga Cardio. So we're gonna move quickly and to get our heart rates up, we're gonna be working on strength and endurance and mobility and flexibility, all of the things. So remember, you can hit pause, you can take child's pose, rest, modify, but keep going. Let's get started. Take child's pose. Bring your big toes together and your knees out wide. We're just here for a few breaths to get settled in into your space, your physical body, and the mindset of movement. So take this time to breathe to release any tension and set an intention for how you want to show up. I don't leave it to chance. Get really specific on what experience you want to have on your mat and how you want to feel when this is over. It's going to go quick. Take one more big breath in. Exhale your way to downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift your hips. Spread your fingers out wide and press down and forward in your hands. So your chest goes towards your thighs. Lift your tailbone straight up towards the ceiling. You can bring a little bit of movement. Maybe bend one knee and then the other. On your inhale, come up high on your toes. Keep your hips high. Tiptoe to the top of your mat, ragdoll. So bring your feet out wide and press down in all four corners of your feet. Walk your hands to one side and then to the other side. Remember, big full breaths in and out. Come back to center. Roll up to standing. Reach up, extended mountain pose. So bring your feet about hip distance apart. Press down in the center of your heels and the ball mounds of your big toes. Lift your toes off the mat. Then bring your inner ankles straight back. So create an inward rotation in your legs. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Look up. Ignite your fingertips. So spread your fingers wide. On your inhale, get really tall. Reach up. Exhale. Hinge at your hips. Fold. Halfway lift. Lengthen the crown of your head forward. Keep action in your legs. Draw your shoulder blades straight up and pull your belly in towards your spine. You want a slight bend here, so make sure you're not locking out. Ease in your joints. Inhale through your nose. Forward fold. Exhale. Extended mountain pose. Pull and reach up. Forward fold. Halfway lift long spine, high plank. Plant your hands, you can step or hop back. Remember, you can always come down on your knees or skip chaturangas all together. This is your practice. Let's make sure it works for you. Make sure that you're working. So you're not choosing what's easiest, right? But what's best for you. So most of the time, right, it's not what is going to give you instant gratification, right? It's more long-term, building strength, growing. That's what we're going for. Spiral your ribs in towards each other. On your inhale, shift forward. Exhale, low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Press down in your hands. On your inhale, come up high on your toes. Look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward. 
extended mountain pose, press down in your heels, rise, forward fold. Half lift, high to low plank. Stack your elbows right over your wrists. Upward facing dog, press the tops of your feet down. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Empty all the air out. Come up high on your toes. Look forward, step or float. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold. Exhale, chair pose. Keep your feet at 12 o'clock. Press down in your heels. Draw your heels away from each other. That's gonna fire up your outer thighs. Create a neutral pelvis. Okay, so you're not tilting your tailbone too far down or out, but right here. Now lift your chest. Drishti or focus at one point. And start to sink down like low, 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 even lower to high boat. Yeah, right here. Remember, you can bend your knees also. But flex or point your feet. Be intentional. If you need some support, you can bring your fingertips right here or on the mat right by your hips. On your inhale, you'll reach up. Exhale, low boat, hover. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, high boat, cross your ankles, step or hop back, chaturanga. Up dog, look forward. Down dog, look at the back of your mat. Three-legged dog, right side. So lift your right heel straight up. Flex your foot. So bring your toes towards your shin. Shift your weight forward. Bring your right knee to your right elbow or tricep. Squeeze your oblique. Take it straight back up, three-legged dog. This time shift forward, opposite elbow. Twist, don't let your hips sag. Heel towards the ceiling. Step forward, warrior one. So plant your right foot. Let your back heel come down. Press down in the outside edge of your back foot. So both hips face forward. Sink down low and really go for it. Find your fullest expression of the pose. Maybe you cactus out your arms and lift your chest. Bring your hands together behind your back. Hey, you choose. It's always actually yogi's choice. Breathe in, breathe out, warrior two. So keep your front knee right over your ankle. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, lengthen the side of your body. Then cartwheel your hands down, high plank. Side plank, right side. Plant your right hand. Open up. You can bring your bottom knee down. You could also come down on your forearm if that works better for you. If you're ready to take it up a notch, lift your leg. Maybe come into a different shape. Take another breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, shoulders straight back. Downward facing dog. We'll take that on the left. So three-legged dog, left side. Lift your heel. Engage the muscles of your lifted leg. Right, hug skin to muscle to bone. Shift forward, left knee to left elbow. Squeeze, straight back up. Opposite elbow, twist. Bring your shoulders over your wrists. Three-legged dog. Step forward, warrior one. Remember, you're here for a moment in this first one. So get curious. See what's possible in this pose, in this practice, 
in this breath. Right, get really present. Sink your hips down. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Knit your front ribs in. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Spread your fingers wide. Look right down your arm, down your middle finger. Lift the crown of your head up. Flip your palm, reverse. Look up and back. Then cartwheel your hands down, high plank. Side plank, left side. Stack your shoulder over your wrist. Create length and height. So lift your hips, lift your leg. Stay with it, you're here for three, two, one, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Remember, this is yoga cardio. So we're gonna really start moving. And you can pause whenever you need to. You can modify, you can rest. But make sure whatever decision that you're making is intentional and it's a reflection of how you wanna show up. Right? Just know the difference between self-care and self-sabotage. One of them keeps you well and keeps you safe, and the other one keeps you plain small. Right? It holds you back from an opportunity that might be right in front of you, from growth. Yeah, so choose well. We're gonna go for it. Breathe, stay with it right here on your mat, right? Hands, feet, core. On your inhale, come up high on your toes. Look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, reach up, sink down low. Sink down lower, high boat. Low boat, high boat inhale. Low boat, exhale. High boat, reach up. Cross your ankles. Step or hop back, chaturanga. Up dog, bring your chest forward. Down dog, chest towards your thighs. Three-legged dog, right side. Shift forward, knee to elbow. Shift back. Shift forward, opposite elbow. Straight back up. Warrior one. Press down, rise up. Warrior two, open. Reverse. High plank. Side plank, right side. Open up. Chaturanga. High to low. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Three-legged dog. Left side. Shift forward, knee to elbow, flex your foot, shift back. Shift forward, twist, squeeze, three-legged dog. Warrior one, take a long step forward. Warrior two, reverse, high plank. Plant your hands, side plank, left side. Spread your fingers wide, chaturanga. Up dog, lift up, down dog, lift your hips. If you're struggling, listen to your body, modify. But don't listen to those thoughts that are telling you to stop. You've got this. And if you're like, hell yeah, I'm doing great, right? Take it upon yourself. Take responsibility for your practice. Up level, right? Take on a new variation. On your inhale, come up high on your toes. Look forward, step or hop. Halfway left, forward fold. Chair pose, 
Lift your chest, core, 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 sink down low, high boat, low boat, high boat, low boat, hover, high boat, lift up, cross your ankles, chaturanga. Up dog, bring your chest forward, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, right side, shift forward knee to elbow, shift back. Shift forward, twist, three-legged dog. Warrior one, pull the pit of your belly in and up. Warrior two, reverse. Exhale your way down, high plank. Side plank, right side. Open up, chaturanga. Stack your elbows right over your wrists. Up dog, lengthen your neck. Downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, left side. Lift your foot, shift forward, knee to elbow. Shift back, shift forward, twist. Straight back up, warrior one. Root down in your feet, warrior two. Lift up from your core, reverse, look up and back, high plank. Plant your hands, side plank, left side. Yeah, reach up, chaturanga. Spread your fingers wide, up dog, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, empty all the air out. Three-legged dog, right side. Shift forward, bring your knee to your nose, so round your back a lot three-legged dog. Again, shift forward, knee to nose. Come up high on your back toes. Three-legged dog. One more, knee to nose. Bring your shoulders over your wrist. Lift, straight back up. This time, step forward, crescent lunge. So work towards a 90-degree angle in your front knee. Stack your back heel right over your back toes. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Pull your core in and up. On your inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, come down, tap your back knee. On your inhale, press down in your front foot, warrior three. Might be wobbly, that's fine. Come back down, crescent lunge, nice and slow. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, come down, tap your back knee. Warrior three. Lift up. Bring your foot back down, crescent lunge. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, tap your back knee. One more, warrior three. Reach forward, lift your back heel. Slowly bring it down, crescent lunge. Bring your hands to heart center. Hinge forward, twist to the right. You can fly your hands open or bring one hand down to the mat. Lift your back thigh, drop your hips down low. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior, extended side angle. Bring your elbow to your thigh or your hand down to a block or the mat. Breathe in, open up. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, and your shoulders straight back. Downward facing dog. Move from your center. Three-legged dog, left side. Flex your foot. Shift forward, knee to nose, squeeze and lift. Three-legged dog. Shift forward, knee to nose again, come up high. Three-legged dog. Last one, shift forward, round your back. Three-legged dog, step forward, crescent lunge. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Spiral your pinkies in. Lengthen the sides of your body. On your inhale, straighten your front leg. 
Exhale, sink down, tap your back knee. Inhale, press down in your front foot, warrior three. Slowly bring it back down, crescent lunge. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, come down, tap your back knee, warrior three. Crescent lunge. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, tap your back knee. Warrior three. Lift up. Slowly bring it back down. Crescent lunge. Bring your hands to heart center. Hinge forward. Twist to the left. Lengthen the crown of your head forward. Twist. Press down in your front foot. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, warrior two. Stay low. Draw your shoulder blades together on your back. Flip your palm, reverse, extended side angle. Lengthen the sides of your body. Peel your shoulder back and your chest up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. High to low, upward facing dog, look forward, downward facing dog. Look at the back of your mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Press down in your hands, fire up your core. Inhale, come up high on your toes. Look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Lengthen your spine, forward fold, hinge, chair pose. Sink down low, bring your hands to heart center, twist to the right. If one knee comes in front of the other, square them up, sink your sits bones down even more. On your inhale, come back to center, reach up, exhale, twist to the other side. You're here for three, stay low, two, one, forward fold. Shake it out, fingers to toes, forward fold. So wrap your fingers around your big toes, pull your upper body down over your thighs. Relax your jaw, your eyebrows. Lift your sits bones up towards the ceiling. So engage your core, your inner core, your pelvic floor, everything pulling in and up. Keep that, plant your hands, crow. So bring your knees onto your triceps, maybe lift one foot and then the other, or maybe both. Feel free to come into any variation. And bring your feet down to the mat for yogi squat. So heels in, toes out. Create resistance between your elbows and your knees and lift your chest. Lengthen your neck. If you need a block under your sits bones, Grab a block. We're here for a couple more breaths. So create ease here. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Heel toe your feet in, about hip distance apart. Bend one knee and then the other. And nice and slow, roll up to standing, extended mountain pose. Eagle, right side. So your right leg goes over, right arm under. And you're welcome to take genie arms or bring your palms together if that works better for you. But press down in your grounded foot. Pull the pit of your belly in and up, 
Lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Airplane. Send your heels straight back. Square your hips to the mat. Pull your belly button in toward your spine. Then bring your hands to heart center. Half moon. I like to use a block. You can try the block at different heights. Engage the muscles of your lifted leg. Right, flex your foot. Drishti at one spot. Powerful breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Come back up to standing. Extended mountain pose. Eagle, left side. Left leg over, left arm under. Hug everything into center. If you fall out, come back in. Okay, that's really what yoga is all about. It's the practice of falling out and standing back up. It's a choice. Airplane pose. Draw your shoulder blades together on your back. Reach your fingertips back behind you. Then bring your hands to heart center. Half moon. Create a slight external rotation in your grounded leg. Flex your lifted foot. Spread your fingers wide. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Lift the crown of your head up. Downward facing dog. Look right at the back of your mat. Three-legged dog, right side. So lift your right heel. And put your attention on your glute, on lifting from there. So on your inhale, lift it up even higher. Exhale, bring it down, down dog. Inhale, lift it up, three-legged dog. Down dog. Last one, three-legged dog. Step forward, warrior one. Warrior two. Triangle. Straighten your front leg. Reach forward. Bring your hand down to a blocker to your shin. Get grounded in your feet. Then reach up so much you come to standing. Take side facing, wide leg forward fold. Clasp your hands behind your low back. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward. Bring out your shoulders for a moment. So let the crown of your head go down towards the mat. Lift your tailbone straight up. I'd like to take a headstand, and you can do that with ease in your space. Do that. Maybe walk your hands behind you. If you're in a headstand, slowly come down. Roll up to standing. Face both feet forward. Walk your back foot in about halfway. Pyramid. You can use a block here. Or bring your hands down to the mat. Shift your weight back towards your heels. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Press the tops of your feet down. Downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, left side. Lift your heel. Right, same thing on this side. So put your attention on your glute, lift up, lower down. Lift up, three-legged dog, down dog. Three-legged dog, step forward, warrior one. Warrior two, triangle. Straighten, reach forward, bring your hand down. 
open your chest up towards the ceiling. Then reach up, come to standing. Take side facing, wide leg forward fold one more time. Bring your feet out even wider or just take a different variation. This one's a little bit shorter. Two more breaths here. In through your nose. Press the air out through your nose. Pull your thighs in towards each other. Fold even deeper. Slowly come up to standing. Walk your back foot in pyramid. Fold forward, bring your nose towards your toes. Square your hips to the top of the mat. Keep just like a micro bend in your knees. On your inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. We'll lower down all together for five, four, three, two, one, all the way down, locust pose. Bring your hands by your sides. Point or flex your feet, totally up to you. Lift up, breathe in. Exhale, release. Floor bow, reach back, grab your ankles, flex your feet, then kick your feet up towards the ceiling and back behind you. Draw your shoulder blades together on your back. Lift the bottoms of your feet up even higher. Release, lower down. Plant your hands right by your ribs. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Come down on your forearms for dolphin. You could bring your palms together or keep them shoulder distance apart. But press your chest towards your thighs. Lift your tailbone up. Set your gaze at one point. You're here for 10, nine. Press down and forward. Seven, six, breathe, four, three, pull your belly in, two, one. Come back to downward facing dog. Come up high on your toes, look forward, step or hop all the way through your hands, come down on your back, bridge. So bend your knees. Press down in your feet. Lift your hips up. Press your triceps down into the mat. Lift your chest. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Lift your hips up like two more inches. Take a breath in. Release, lower down. Windshield wiper from side to side. Wheel or bridge. So if you know wheel, take wheel. You can plant your hands right by your ears. Maybe just come to the crown of your head. Maybe lift up, right, for three, two, one. Tuck your chin, lower down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide. Happy baby. Grab the outsides of your feet. Pull your feet down towards the mat. Maybe rock from side to side. We're almost done. You're killing it. Just a little bit left. All right, so bring your best for this last little bit. Release your feet. Send your heels straight up towards the ceiling. Clasp your hands behind your head with your elbows out wide.
press your low back down, lift your chest, lower your heels 30 degrees, pause right there, lower 30 more. Take a breath in, lower two inches off the mat, bicycles for 10, nine, twist, twist, six, five, press, press, three, two, one, straight back up, heels towards the ceiling, lower 30, lift your chin, lower 30 more, press your low back down, lower two inches off the mat, bicycles for 10, nine, bring your elbow to your knee, press, press, five, four, three, two, one, last one, heels towards the ceiling, lift your chest, flex your feet, keep your legs as straight as you can, lower 30, lower 30 more, two inches off the mat, bicycles for 10, nine, eight, twist, twist, five, four, twist, you've got it, two, one, hug your knees into your chest. Uh, rock forward and back. One more, even bigger. Cross your ankles. Step or hop back to downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, right side. Bend your knee, open your hips up. Get a big side body stretch. Half pigeon. Bring your right knee to your wrist. Square your hips. So if you need a block under one side, Grab a block, right, and that'll go right under your hip or along your femur and your thigh. You can stay upright or walk your hands forward. Bring your chest down towards the mat. Release your hips. Let go of resistance. Be right here. Walk your hands towards your front shin. Sit up nice and tall. And plant your hands. Come back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Three legged dog on the left. Bend your knee. Open up, half pigeon. Adjust your front shin, bring it towards the top of your mat. You can tuck your back toes or point your toes up to you, but be intentional in setting up the physical foundation of the pose. your attention on each inhale and each exhale. Not thinking about the last or what's coming next. And with that presence comes freedom. Opportunity. Maybe even gratitude for what's right in front of you, for the experience that you've created. Walk your hands towards your front shin. Sit up tall. Then swing your right leg around. Seated forward fold. So face both feet forward. Come up on your sits bones. Your inhale, reach up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Mm -hmm. 
Release, plant your hands by your hips. Take reverse tabletop. So press down in your hands and feet. Lift your hips up, let your head hang back. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. As you come down, take shoulder stand or waterfall. So waterfall, you'll just put a block under your low back and lift your heels straight up. Shoulder stand, stack your feet over your hips and your hips over your shoulders. Pinpoint or flex your feet. Here in shoulder stand, take plow. Slowly bring your feet back behind you towards the floor. Deaf man's pose, bend your knees. And slowly lower all the way down, one vertebrae at a time. Come all the way onto your back. Get nice and long. So reach back behind you. Not biggest stretch yet. And hug your right knee into your chest, supine twist. So give it a squeeze, then send it over to the left. Stack one hip right on top of the other, but keep both shoulders on the mat. Soften your face. Switch sides. So come back to center. Then hug your left knee in. Twist. Enjoy these last few moments. Make sure you don't skip out. Give yourself this rest. Come back to center, how you earned it. Find a comfortable position on your back. Final resting pose, Shavasana. So close your eyes, let your feet fall open. Let your breath flow naturally. your eyes closed. Gently roll to your right side. Take this time to end your practice with gratitude and ease and lightness and acknowledge yourself for the work that you put in. seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands to heart center. Together we'll take one more big breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. Thank you. Thank you for practicing with me. If you did this, if you liked it, really no matter what your experience was, please let me know. I'm ex um, inspired by you guys and um, I wanna hear about how your practice went. So comment, let me know, share it with your people, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.